let's take a look at how to enable app data roaming for Google Chrome. Google Chrome saves settings in app data local, which is not included in roaming profiles or folder redirection. This folder cannot leave the local drive, the local C drive. Google Chrome has a policy where profiles like bookmarks, autofill data, passwords, etc. can be written to a file stored in the roaming user profile folder or another location specified by the administrator. So I'm assuming you've already ins downloaded and installed the administrative templates for Google Chrome and installed that on a computer. So group policy knows how to edit um, Google Chrome settings in your domain environment. So let's take a look at the policy. So I've downloaded and installed them. And I've created a new GPO. Um, you can place it wherever you need it. Uh, we're going to edit this. You can either edit it at the computer level or user level. So whichever you want these policies to apply to, like computer objects or user objects. So we're just going to drill down to um, policies, administrative templates, Google, Google Chrome. And it's really just one setting. So here, um, enable the creation of roaming pro copies for Google Chrome profile data. So you just enable that. Pretty simple. Um, I've also got some basics like configure the home page here. Um, if you go down to start up home page and new, ta new tab page settings here. So I'll just leave it to Google. Uh, configure the new tab page URL is just to Google. Action and startup, list of URLs I have set simply, and the URLs to open is just Google. So just some basic stuff. So let's take a look at the client workstation real quick. So let's switch over to that. Okay. So on the workstation, what we're going to do, um, well, before we apply it, let's take a look at the app data folder. So the app data local folder does not leave the workstation. As you can see, Google Chrome has all its settings for the user here, all the user data, bookmarks, profiles, stuff like that, um, passwords. If we back out, um, there's nothing in the roaming folder. This, um, you can do like folder redirection or what have you um, on a server. So when um, your employees or clients or whatever, users on your domain hop between computers, um, those settings for Chrome can follow them. They don't have to re-bookmark their websites on a different workstation. It'll follow them based on their user account that I've set. Um, so what we'll do is I'm going to apply the group policy object. I'm going to force it, GP update. We may have to log out and log back in since it's a user policy. Try and test it. We may have to log out. Let's take a look. Oh, it applied. So there we go. Now we have the um, Google folder in the app data roaming folder and you can see there's that profile.pb file that carries all that user data. So that's it. Just one simple little um, group policy and let's take a look at that again. It's going to be go back to the server. Here in Google Chrome it's going to be enable the creation of roaming copies for Google Chrome profile data. Super handy in an inter enterprise environment, your domain, um, just to have all of those bookmarks and uh, passwords follow the uh, users when they hop across workstations. So I hope that was helpful and thanks for watching.